Hey, what's up coders? In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can download cryptocurrencies price and also upload it as your own data set on Kaggle. So if you see my screen, I've got a cryptocurrencies price data set on Kaggle that was last updated four years ago. So I'm going to show you how you can download the latest cryptocurrency price using R and then also upload the same thing as a Kaggle data set so that you can make it available for everybody on the planet. So the first thing that we need is we need R Star Studio. The first thing that you need to do is you need to install the library called Coin Market Cap R. So Dev Tools install underscore GitHub, and I'm going to say MRS Coin Market Cap R. So I'll link this in the YouTube description so you don't have to figure out where to install. I'll link the 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 libraries link in the YouTube description. So now it's asking you like all these libraries are updated. Do you want to install or skip? So I'm going to say just skip, just empty line. So it's installing the latest version of this library from the GitHub repository. After we install it, now we have successfully installed it. We have to load the library. After we load the library, the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up the API key. So we need to set up the API key. So you have to go to coin market cap website and then look for API. And once you look for API, you can click this button and then it would take you to the API page. So click this button called get your API key now. Once you do that, it's going to ask you for a bunch of details where you need to enter your username, password and all this information. So after you enter CoinMarketCap website and click API and login, so this is where you would end up. So you can just go copy the API key after you generate the API key. Once you have the API key ready, you have to just you know, like assign it to um, an object type name called key. I have already done that. I don't want to show you my API key. That's why I'm doing this. After that, just click set up API key. Now at this point, your API key should be set up. So this is all after loading coin market cap R. So now I'm going to create a new data frame that says DF and then that data frame gets crypto listing all the crypto pricing and uh, starting from first row to thousandth row. So we want to get 1000 rows totally, 1000 cryptocurrencies. You can go to CoinMarketCap website and then see CoinMarketCap and then you can actually see all the, all, all the, all the cryptocurrency details. So if you give, go there, like you can actually see all the cryptocurrencies. We are almost basically going to get all the information. Click this and uh, once you click that, it's going to download the data frame. It's going to download the data frame with 1000 rows. So I can I can quickly set dim of DF and then you can see that it has got 32 columns and it has got 1000 rows. Now at this point, I'm going to write the CSV and my CSV name is DF and um, what, what is the name that I want to write? I can go back here and then see what is the name of the Excel file that I gave. I had given earlier cryptocurrencies prices underscore CSV cryptocurrencies prices dot CSV and I'm going to save it. So at this point, the file cryptocurrenciesprices.csv is successfully saved on my local machine. So what is the next step? The next step is go to your Kaggle profile and then make sure that you are logged in with Kaggle. After you are logged in with Kaggle, now you can you can just go click, you can just go click and then say new version, which means you are trying to upload the new version of the data set here. So you can just simply click upload files or drag and drop the files. I'm going to just simply use my spotlight to say cryptocurrencies and CSV. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And you can see that one or more files in the selection have the same name. All we want to is replace the file. Click replace file so that the same file gets updated. Otherwise, if you already have a Kaggle data set, then it might create a new version of another file, which might confuse people who have already created notebooks on top of it. So now at this point, you can see the file has been updated. You can add any comment like a comment message that you want we can say thousand crypto price updated um, on 23rd feb okay so now after you do this thing click create once you click create ideally this should update the data set that you have got and it says that your version was uploaded successfully click the button below to close this dialog so click the button and then after it refreshes so when you, we started this video you can see that it said it was updated four years back now you can see that it shows that it has been updated just a few seconds back and then you can also go and see whether you have got um, whether you have got all the information 
you can scroll down and then see you can see that it has got 1000 unique values so you have successfully managed to download the latest cryptocurrencies price using coin market cap library and you also in the process uploaded uploaded this this file as a kaggle data set for others to use so if you want to add some more information you can just come here and then say edit you can say last updated so i can say last updated feb 23rd feb 23rd number of um, okay so last updated feb notes i can say notes maybe release notes release notes last updated updated what is terrible typo updated and notes and then i can say number of cryptos cryptos 1000 so i can just add this and then save this save this so that you know it gets updated at this point we have successfully managed to upload our data set you can see the license we have got tags in place we have got description in place and we have got the latest version of cryptocurrencies uploaded to our kaggle data set if somebody wants to create a notebook on top of it all they have to do is go click new notebook on the data set and they should be able to create the data set we used coin market cap to create an api we use that api to download the data set using r then we use the same data set that we just downloaded from coin market cap uploaded it to kaggle for the kaggle community to start creating notebooks on top of it i hope this video was helpful to you in uploading your own version of Kaggle data set or if you are interested in crypto I hope this helped you in downloading your latest crypto data set if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise all the necessary links will be in the YouTube description make sure that you check it out thank you so much for watching this video have a safe time happy coding